Okay, time for conductor Q&A. The first question asked was, um, what is going on with, um, with, with Big Boy? This is the most commonly asked question on, um, um, on YouTube. What's going on with it? It's being restored in Cheyenne. So right now, at the moment, they're not working on it now when they're on the steam trip, but when they're not running the steam trip, they're working on it all the time, trying to get it ready. So let's see, the latest update, I guess all the drive wheels are out. They've been sent off to Strasburg Railroad to be uh, refurbished with new tires and drive pins. Uh, most of the engine's been disassembled, so lots of parts are starting to be restored or replaced. We haven't started putting anything back together yet, but it's, it's getting close. That is the official Steam Shop update for this month. Big Boy is now on track for first steam up in April of 2019 and she and the rest of the steam fleet will be on their way to the station in Ogden where they will be on display for the 150th anniversary of the Union Pacific Railroad and the Golden Spike. Okay, next question. And this one's also um, well, very commonly asked. Hmm? It takes a little while to hook them back up, connect all the cables for the brakes, all the air hoses. Hold on a second on that question. They have to reconnect the MU cables. Um, the air hoses. The brake, the brake hoses. So they're connecting back the, uh, the tender of the E44 to the water retainer. What's that Second question is, how did I end up getting on A44? Well, it's a long story. Let's just say that um, I'm a pretty good rail fan and I play by the rules. Most don't. They're called foamers. I'm not one of them. And Jim Lance gave me a lantern one day. And I helped Travis Campbell with his presentation. And as a reward, they let me ride 844 today. Okay. Next question. Why are you guys bringing A44 to Boise this morning? There is some kind of uh, anniversary event at the Boise station, is what I understand. So it's on display all day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. As you guys may know, Boise station is headquarters of Wabtech Industries, the parent company of motor power industries which makes the locomotives <laughs> originally um wabtech industries before they bought mpi mpi was known as morrison canoes and construction company they've been in, on the osl um almost um um, um as um, the OSL has been in Idaho, and that is 100 years. And in fact, MPI built the OSL 100 years ago. 
back in the early 1880s. So this is UP's way of saying thank you to the, the people of Boise and Napa Yard for 100 years of service. Oh, in the restroom it's okay? In the restroom it's okay? Drink the water? Uh, I don't think I'd drink that. Drink the bottled water. Okay, the bottled water. It's okay to wash your hands and all that, but I wouldn't. It's probably okay, but I wouldn't. Uh, bottled water is better. Next question. Where is 844 going after um, the Boise Turn Centennial Tour? Well, on this particular trip, after Boise, it's going back to Pocatello, then down to Ogden, and then back to Cheyenne through Rock Spring. The next uh, trip is the uh, College World Series in June, so it'll go to Omaha for that. And then Cheyenne Frontier Days in July, and that is all of the planned trips for this year. Sorry, sorry guys, no rail fest this year. The E9s will be going to that. Not 844. She has to go in for her scheduled maintenance. And Ed has to work on 3985 and Big Boy. Big Boy for now. 3985 is on the back burner until 3985 is done. Big Boy has to be repaired first, and then they'll get to 3985. So, yes, that answers the next question. A44 um, has been restored, Big Boy is being restored now, and 3985 will be repaired after the first steam up of Big Boy coming up in 2019. Okay, final question and then we'll go. Um, what, what does it take to, um, one day become a member of, of the crew? Hmm. That's a frequently asked question. Uh, bottom line is you have to have a skill that the crew needs to run the steam engine, and you have to be among the best of people that have that skill. So, for example, the Boilermakers, uh, they're skilled welders, and you can do all kinds of other metal work. There's a couple of machinists who are experts at using machine tools to make things, because a lot of the parts that go in these engines, you can't get replacements from the manufacturers anymore, so you have to make them yourselves. So you have to be an expert machinist, and there's two of those, and then there's several crew members who are trained operating people like engineers, firemen, conductors, brakemen. So, All right. you have to be an expert at your skills and you have to have a passion for wanting to run steam locomotives and be willing to do whatever needs to be done to get us on it. Okay, looks like I'm going to be head back to school one, um, one of these days because I'm still trying to get my certification. Okay, here, here's a bonus question. What is the current status of Steam Shop? I heard they took the roof off a couple months back. No, the roof is still on. They took off, there was a false ceiling under it, a, a tile ceiling. And uh, they took that out because there were hundreds of pigeons living on the <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure most of you heard Ed tell that story. They had trouble getting big boy into the roundhouse. The ceiling was too low and they had to take it out and put the cranes back. But when they removed the ceiling, pigeon guano, and you don't want to know about that.
<laughs> but they got the ceiling out and they're currently repairing Steam Shop right now. Steam Shop's in good shape now. It's cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, the shop's okay. Okay, now I need to get back to my seat because we're going to be underway in a minute to four and then we're going to be head towards Glen's Ferry. A uh, shout out to my my friends um, um, Grand Tetons and I, I forgot his name, but Idaho Rail fans, we're coming. Make sure you are trackside when we come by. We're going to take a, a break right now, and then we'll be underway.